Okay, folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, gnomes have come quite popular, and we've decided to try to do a large version of. And you can see we've got a, a little fella right here. And uh, so we're going to make a larger version of this guy. And they're a lot of fun to do. And all we're doing today is we're starting with a bandsaw cutout. And always make sure, too, when you're cutting out your wood, that your wood, your, your wood is going up and down vertical, all right? and uh, that it always be a great help to you in, when you're carving. All right, so we've kind of basically got some of the things blocked out here. And so now we're going to take our knife and we're going to start removing a lot of real estate. And so we're starting here underneath the creating, putting the hat, excuse me, the hair under the hat. And we'll show you later on how we put the facial feature, the face part up into the hat. Because I had some questions on that a while back. How do you get the head to it look right to go up into a hat? So we'll get to that point here after a while. Again, we are just taking our knife and making these important cuts, these stop cuts. And they stop us from going further than we need to. Make every count cut. Make every cut count. When you're and we're downsizing everything. Remember, everything has a center on your carving, and it's a little bit odd, uh, different there. There we go. Anyway, we'll get the center line eventually, but you know what I'm talking about there. Make sure you have everything keeps in keep things in center. All right. All right. So we're gonna. Work all the way around this guy from the beard. Remember to relax and breathe and pay attention where that knife blade is going. Have fun with this guy. He's glad it's springtime. Get out and enjoy nature. or summertime, whatever the time of the season it is. Enjoy it. Wood's working good for me today. That's always a plus. Of course, having our tools extremely sharp helps also, makes it more fun to carve. And so just keep whittling away. And we're removing here a lot of this real estate here. This is about a three and a half, four inch tall piece by two and a half inches wide. So if you want to know the dimensions of this guy. Taking our V tool here and we're continuing to dress down the beard area. <clears throat> now I'm going to put in the stop cuts here for the arm placement. Now I'm not going to have his hands out, uh, out of this particular project. So we're just going to keep them inside the pocket and that's fine but you know as you progress in your carving get out of your comfort zone and get those hands out of the pocket get some action in those hands whether they're holding something you know and uh, also put some ears you don't have to be big ears on these gnomes they are really tiny and uh, or you can make your ears as big as you want on your gnome let it be yours. You don't have to be mine. Just have fun. Again, putting our stop cuts in, using that tip of that knife to get that good cut that we need. Look here how that goes out in there because we had a good, clean cut right in there. All right, so we're just continuing working our way around this guy. Now we're going to start drawing the legs down toward the feet. Now we're not going to split the legs on this guy. We're just going to just use a, a V tool to do that later on in more detail. And again, we're putting those pants on top of the shoe right here. And also too, it's going to give us an area here for the hand to look like it's sticking in the pocket there. Again, always uh, pay attention to where your knife is going. And 
And again, we're going to also too learn how to to place in shoes and how to keep you know make sure one shoe is not bigger than the other one here after a while. You want him to have a good firm foundation when he stands. Okay. Boy, he looks rough right now, but that's part of it. And we're going to put a stop cut now on both sides of this nose, this potato nose. But what's going to really make this guy really pop today in this video is his facial expression by his mouth. Okay. So we're taking our knife here, cutting this wood away. This would normally be the eye area, or pretty close to it. But we're just not going to worry about the eyes today. Sometimes it's just fun to do a simple project. You don't have to get involved in a very detailed project. It's just good to sit at the bench or the table and just do something simple. It don't have to be an elaborate project. Now we're going to take our knife and we're going to take it and split it down this, the back of the arms a little bit to give it some separation there because we're going to get those elbows to stand out. And I love hearing that knife going through the wood. Again, in your carving, when you're out there carving, take a break once in a while, buff your tools, you know, every 30, 40 minutes, you know, whatever's comfortable for you to do it, but make sure that you do that. It keeps everything running smoothly when your tools are in good shape. Again, we're just working our knife up to the back side of the hat. Bringing our knife across here. All right, let's work around the, the belly here. And I don't know what size of belly or a beard we're going to have, but maybe he just didn't trim it much this winter. Starting to look like something. Again, work all over. Don't work in one area very long. This gives your, when you work all over, it gives your carving more uh, uniformity, um, more balance look. And so, all right, now we're taking our V tool here. This is a number 41, about a Oh, I don't know, Good sweep, a good quarter sweep here. And, um, or half inch sweep, whatever it may be. But work again, work around your character here a little bit. Again, we're working this way in, we're working this in, working this in. Taking everything away that doesn't belong. Taking everything away that doesn't belong. Again, using only two tools right now, the V-tools and a knife. And we're getting a lot of this roughness out of here where we can start getting rid of the sharp edges <clears throat> on this guy. So I stop once in a while and I look at him every which way. And I turn him upside down and I make sure that I'm, everything's looking Symmetrical and everything just looking good there. All right, so let's continue to work on um, this beard here. Let's get it down. Again, make your nose as big as possible because you can always downsize your nose.
Oh, this is going to be a fun project. Like I said earlier, do something easy, something that just kind of, you're not pressured, you're not under a time limit. Just, if you can get it in a quiet area, just listen to that knife go through the wood and that tool. Nothing like it. Now I'm drawing this beard down toward the belly and so that's because it really touches the side of his stomach there. All right, use your blower once in a while. Mine's not too good at times. And uh, so let's take our V-tool here. We're going to do some more separating there. All right, now we're going to start shaping um, our shoes a little bit and taking off the corners. All right, so now we're going to take our knife and we are going to start on this corner here. Work in that corner. We'll start rounding these shoes. Working our way around the shoe. Then when we get to this point here, we're going to work on the heels back here, or the back of the shoe, not the heels yet. But kind of separate those a little bit. And then we're going to come to the front here and give these a little bit more of a better separation. I'm working my way in toward those legs is what I'm doing. All I'm doing is, is creating a valley here on each side, taking each side off and this side off. If it's easier for you to set it on the table to get better control, do so. Or you can do it in your lap if you'd like, but right here is just pretty comfortable for me right now to do it right here. <sighs> okay, so now we're going to take our knife and start here at the, at the tip of the shoe and work our way back and work our way back toward where the legs would be at. Again, we're just coming in and bringing that one in. Using a smaller V-tool to, to help show separation. Okay, and again, always look at your bottom of your shoes to make sure they're staying even the best you can. Remove the bandsaw cuts here. Start shaping these shoes. Let's get rid of the corners of the shoes and start rounding these shoes off. Again, always watch when you're using a pulling cut that your thumb is out of the way. Don't try to get ahead of your carving. Just stay steady at what you're doing here. And working our way around these shoes here. All right, so we're going to come in here now with a little longer knife to be able to cut downsize this the back area. Start rounding off where his backside would be, where he sits. Again, don't be afraid just to get in here and just Oh, hog, I mean, go at it. And 
And so whenever we're now yeah, let's uh oh let's start working on the nose just a little bit of getting the corners off the nose. And I'll stop here and show the camera here. That's where we're at. Get a little closer where you can see. He's starting to take shape. All right. All right, let's continue moving on. Let's start taking some of this hat down a little bit and start on the corner and working your way to that center line the best that you can. We'll stop for a commercial break. All right, so we're going to continue to take our knife here. Now see there how that tears? So just stop, pull your knife out, bring it back to you like towards you like a paring cut. You get ready to pair something like a potato or a carrot. And sometimes that happens. So stop. Don't don't break don't let the wood break through there. Just take your time. So stop and go the other direction. Alright now again we're wanting to bring this to a point. Okay, I want to bring this to a point. So we're going to start really hogging off the wood here. And again, I like to get down pretty close to the beard and the side of the head with my hat because it's, it's you know, our hats are not very thick. So we want them to set pretty close to the head. So we don't want to leave a whole lot of there. So we just want to try to get it to where it's more thinner. So we're going to keep working our way. to tear that way so we're just going to can come in here try to take smaller cuts <sighs> working our way around it there's always a way to get around this sometimes Okay, we're getting rid of the bandsaw marks here off the front. Gonna go from there. Okay, let's start bringing in now the head part, the head and the beard area more uh, to where it'll, it'll look better fitting under this hat. So again, we're coming in and we are making these cuts. Let's kind of work around this nose area. And we're going to come in and start shaping this nose. Hopefully to give it a round look.
And again, we're going to take some more off here on the side of the nose. And keep working, keep working, round and round. And constantly being aware of where that blade is going, keeping your fingers out of the way. Okay, now we're going to start back here and downsizing the arms a little bit. Again, pushing cut, pulling cut, pulling it toward us. And we're leaving this area right in here high to where it makes it look like there's a hand in there. Start shaping our shoulders a little bit. I'm going to go to a V-tool here that kind of again help us clean these areas out. Go to a little smaller unit there. Here we go. Looking how I, you look how I use my thumb as a pivot as I'm turning as I carve and that helps you with better control. Find that high spot there. Put your thumb there and work around it. All right, bringing his hair up a little bit down here. That way we can expose more of the back here. You know, you can put suspenders on him or a shirt or whatever, you know. You see all types of them out there, different poses and whatever. So just make it your own. All right, now we're going to come in here and we're going to start downsizing some of the, the legs here a little bit. And then we're going to start working and shaping these shoes. Now I'm going to put a, a cut right down the middle here of this back of his legs and and right between his shoes. Okay, go in here, put the cut, stop cut. All right, and then we're not going to go all the way through to, um, as we call, creating a peekaboo hole. We're just going to give it some depth there to create shadows. And when you paint this guy, this will, and this will help the looks of it too, whether you stain it or paint it. Okay, and that also helps you to see how much you need to take off from the left side or the right side. And so again, when you put that separation in there and you start working these down. Okay, we're going to come in here now. I'm going to put a stop cut right here where we can work some of this leg down. Now again, take small cuts through here because you don't want to make a big cut and uh, take off part of his shoe. And then he'll walk with a limp. We don't want that. Okay. All right, now I'm going to look at the bottom of the shoes. This shoe, this, this shoe over here is a little, little wider than this one here, so we need to take off from the outside a little ways. And using our pulling cut, and making sure your thumb is out of the way. Okay, need to do a little bit more. Again, that's why I said you need to work all over your carving. That way you're not taking off too much in one area. 
because you, again you cannot put this back if you can I'd, I'd like to meet you but anyway so we're going to now work on right in here to create more shadows in the leg area and in the shoe area here and again these may be big old Dutch shoes that he's wearing. Maybe he's wearing them old wooden shoes. Maybe he made these wooden shoes himself. You know, these gnomes are quite craftsmen. And so, again, if you'd like to, just when you carve and create a story. You're telling a story. It's your story, stick with it. But create one. I'm going down in here fairly deep with my knife <clears throat> and again to show to show separation and we're getting boy he's a pudgy little feller but that's all right he's like the rest of us he likes to eat all right so I'm going to put the cut there and bring that knife right out of there that creates more depth in the arm. And so you can take your V-tool here and kind of clean that out. There we go. Wonderful. All right, let's continue to work this arm down. And get to that point here. Working this arm. Okay. I see here this side is down, so this side needs to come down to match this side. Again, we're drawing that all this facial features up into the uh, hat. Stop cut right here, cross the nose area. And you know, if you want more of the forehead to show, just take more of your hat off up here. Because that kind of helps bring the, the hat kind of fits the face a little bit better when you do that. We're taking our knife and going across the top here to create a little bit more forehead if you'd like. And so we're going to continue to remove the hat here more. Okay, now we're going to come in here, just uh, going to work on the back of the shoe here and the front of the shoe to try to get it more balanced look. And again, whenever you're Cutting or excuse me, carving the pants. Always remember that our jeans and pants that we wear, it has the Y 
in the front and the T in the back. So unless you just want him to look like he's wearing his pants on backwards, that's all I guess all right. But just remind you of that. I had one guy in my class, he got it backwards. It made it look funny, but anyway, so just make sure you know the Y in the front, the T in the back. Okay, let's put in the, the heel part of the shoe. And we make a stop cut there, and then we bring a cut toward us. And then we kind of line it up over here, about right there is where the other, other part of where the heel is going to be. And we bring that across there. And then later on, we're going to join this together and to show the heel of the shoe. And again, we're coming in here and just removing that waste. All right, so you can see there now, you can see where the heel and the sole of the shoe. So let's kind of start shaping the shoe a little bit. Start turning and, and not making it so flat. Again, we're going to come in here and remove more in between the two, the sides of the shoes in the front here. That way we can shape our shoes a little better. And all I'm doing is just going down, going down, cutting, cutting in here and making these cuts meet down here toward the pant legs. Looking where our shoes are once in a while <sighs> taking our knife going in here making these cuts <sighs> <sighs> all right look again make sure you're looking at everything all right let's Stop and look here a little bit. Okay, he's a little fat over here a little ways. So let's take some of that down. One way to lose weight, isn't it? Trim it off. All right, let's continue working our arms over here. Getting that bandsaw roughness off. And working the sides down. Yeah, if you hit the, some of the beard, so what? It's going to happen. Again, we're coming in, putting the L shape in the arms here to create depth there. All right, smoothing this out. Working things over. <sighs> Working on the side of the nose. <sighs> and I like to break up the beard a little bit here to create depth whenever we put in the hair and again now if you don't want to put hair in this guy just leave him like that there that's nothing wrong with that but we're going to come in here now and and draw in our our smile lines and things for us to create a mouth for him and again we're just going to use our same technique that we used on our regular faces that we've been doing Putting a cut there and drawing it to the nose. And again, we're looking for three planes here. All right. And again, we're putting our cut there. Stop cut there. 
and drawing it up toward the nose, taking that knife and cutting right through the wood. And again, even though he's got mostly a beard, we gotta still have that dental mound there. Um, you know, sometimes being fun, maybe just do one with the big old teeth showing through it, you know, and no eyes. Uh, just make it your own. Lots of ideas, lots of ideas. And again, you know, you're going to come in here and you're going to tweak this nose as you go. Okay, so again, we're going to kind of make a squirrely looking front lip here, a top lip. And I like that look there. Get rid of these pencil marks here. You can see that there, how we're, get that up a little closer. You can see how he's coming and progressing there. Oh yeah, he's looking good. All right, so let's create in the top lip here now. We're taking our 3 16th V tool. And again, we're just coming and following that little squirrely line we put in there for the upper lip. Okay, just like so. Okay, and then we're going to take our knife and make the stop cut in between the upper lip and the bottom lip, which we'll put in here in just a few minutes. Now we're going to take our soft 3 16 V. We're going to start right there, make a cut. You can see there in the camera we're making our cuts there. That, And then we're going to turn... This tool, and we're going toward the corners of his mouth. There. I'm going to make it fairly deep there in the corners on this guy. All right. So again, now make sure that you have good stop cuts because we're going to get ready to open up his mouth here to give him some a uh, nice feature. So here we go. Get ready. One, two, three. Open it up. Here we go. Opening that mouth up a little. <sighs> okay, so now I'm going to come in and revisit our dental mound here again to create more depth here and bring that mouth out more. Since we don't have no eyes on this guy, we're just going to Hopefully, give him a good expression here with just the mouth. Come in here and break up this beard here just right below the mouth. Get rid of our pencil marks here. And, you know... Who says that he's got to have cheeks? This guy don't. They're all hid by his hair. And so, come in here like this. All right, now let's let's stop there and let's work on our, our pant legs a little bit here and get show a little more distinction there. Let's go with a smaller V tool with this number one eighth, an eighth tool here and go right down the middle. Create more clean look of the carving there. All right, come in and just clean out the little fuzzies right there. All right. I think he, we can put some, take our V tool now and put in the pockets. Now, when I put in the pockets, I lay my V tool on its side and I use that only one side of that and that gives it a look like the hand is going into the pocket there okay so remember to lay that tool on its side as you're carving that all right let's flip him over let's do the other side remember laying that flat the v tool as flat as you can but still you're able to grip the wood there and put in that 
little cut there for his arm and hand to go into the pocket. All right. Come back here and visit this. I'm, I'm a stickler about coming back and visiting the mound here, the dental mound and everything. But then too, you know, you can come in and I don't want to go try to get up here where you can see, but I'm going to try to put in a lower lip with a V-tool and, excuse me, the inner lip. Or you got the lower lip on there. And um, so we're going to stick that in there and that's just going to add more action there. Shows he's got some a tongue in there and some teeth maybe back in there. All right, so come in here now and break up all this wood right in here with your knife. And we're doing this. Even in the back of the hair. All right. All right, so now we're going to start putting some fun stuff in his hat here. And some twist we did we did this on some earlier stuff of making wrinkles in the hat and again I think we need to come in here just a little bit more sinking that head into that hat there getting that right dimension there okay so we're doing that there on this shoe some here more get in these shoes more line make sure that you get the back side cleaned up really good you can take a V tool and, and do that there clean up that area right there Alright, so let's try to put in now some texturing in the hat. And again, we're using our rolling cuts and turning and twisting. And again, just try that and see how you like it. So get up in here and make these cuts. Again, when you paint this, you see there on camera how it looks gives you some depth there in the hat and when you paint and stuff that's all going to show up really nice and uh, break up that hat instead of it being just a cone looking hat there and break it up he may have had a hard day you know he may have used that to swat off bugs or something you never know or flag some help down from a neighbor of his They may have been trying to put out a brush fire. Who knows? Let's see how I'm going in here and just hitting that every so often. And breaking that up. All right. Right here between the legs, his feet here and things. I want to get this area very clean because whenever you paint this guy, you don't want all these little fibers in there the best that you you know can get them out of there and you know and that's why i always say wash your carving when you get done because when it dries then all these little fibers that you maybe can't get a hold of right now they'll stand up and you can take your denture brush or your stiff brush that you have and go to town getting rid of those things and that will really help your your painting of this guy this little gnome look really good 
All right, now I'm going to undercut here just a little bit to create a shadow under the beard there. And again, we're just coming in. And these could be, you know, as I've said before, we really don't see every little individual hair. We see locks of hair. And so we're getting to the point here. We're going to put in the soles of the shoes. And again, always turn your carving, look around every which way you can to get the best angle to see what needs to be taken care of. Always pay attention where that blade is going in there because you don't want to create more cuts than what you're originally going in for. So pay pay attention there if you possibly can. All right, so I'm going to come out here now and just create a little high area here on his pants to where it would show his hand in the pocket a little bit. Just take away there a little bit. And same thing here on this side. Creating... A little bump there to where the hand would be in the pocket. All right, now on the shoes, um, some people turn them up, you know, because they're gnomes, but I don't know. Just, I like to carve in between here and just turn them up a little bit. It just breaks up the shoe. You know, you could even carve in little laces if you wanted to. Maybe he's laced, he's got a shoe that he laces up. Come here to the side and really take this out here. Just have fun with him. He may be wearing an old pair of shoes or he may have went to the local store there where he lives at and got a new pair. Make them as new as you like or as old as you like or whatever. All right, we're gonna again take our knife and make these cuts here on the arm to show some action. Remember to put in your little V cuts here for your um, where the elbow bends into the body or on the on the elbow here on the sh on the arm because this is where the shirt would be. It will automatically crease up and create that little notches there <sighs> all right so now we're going to take our knife here and continue working on this shoe and we're about to head down the finish line here. I don't think I'm going to put any hair on this guy. I think I'm just going to let the tool marks represent the um, hair, the face, the features of him. But I do want to finish up the shoe here and work our way around this. And then we're going to put in the soles and probably call him good. When you hear that chattering, it's not good on your knife, but try to find a blade that will get in there and, and uh, well, that's a nice chatter, wasn't it? And again, if you want to put cuffs on him, you can put cuffs on him if you'd like. And uh, again, we're just tweaking him here and having fun with him. All right, so now we're going to take our V tool and we're going to put in the soles. And so I come in here and whatever size of V-tool you like to put against there, do it. Whatever size fits your particular carving that you think would look good. Remember, you just make shortcuts. You don't have to make a whole long string of them because just come in here and stop and come around the bend here of the shoe. Go right on the inside. Now, sometimes you're not your V tool is not going to be able to go all the way in.
because of the width of your shoe. So, you know, I've taken my knife and made the rest of it, but uh, you can if you want to use it. You can do that. So, anyway, I think we'll uh, call it quits right there. And uh, I think he's a he's a happy guy. We may tweak him more later on off camera, but anyway, that's a, a little Ozark gnome. And I hope that you've enjoyed uh, this little journey here today in creating this little guy. So we'll see you soon. Happy carving.